welcome to Fight Night Street Fighter Edition, featuring some of the top players from around the world. With $25,000 in prize money on the line, who will go home the Street Fighter Champion? This is Fight Night. Hello everybody, welcome back to Fight Night, hosted by ESGN TV. Last time we saw Tokido able to take three wins in a row, but he has one final boss remaining, Infiltration. What's gonna happen? We're not exactly sure yet, but let's check out the highlight video to see just how we got here. Oh my God, what side does it oh! hit on? Oh my What's God! What's happening? Luffy! Luffy's still in it. It's not looking good, but he can. Oh, that's, yeah. Whoa. Tokido takes it pretty convincingly. Welcome back to another night of fight night here. Tasteless and Gutex are gonna cast a pretty sick match. It's gonna be Tokido against Infiltration. That's right, Tasteless. It's all come down to this. Tokido is on such a hot streak. He's won three in a row, which brings him up to $1,000. Now he chose to just keep on pushing forward because he wants to win this 25 grand, and he's going up against last year's EVO 2012 world champion, Infiltration. I really gotta say, his Tokido's determination and his willingness to fight and his drive towards that 25 grand is so impressive to me. I really respect his confidence here. You know, it's, it's making for an epic show, but it's really also showing uh, Takedo is an epic player. He's still hungry. He wants to conquer more. He wants to make more money. And this is a, a huge feat. I mean, he might actually get to that 25,000. Well, yeah, because but if the people it, he's already beaten so far, this, it's completely plausible that this continues oh, to go yeah, on. Because either way, next time, we're gonna have a brand new set of players. So if Infiltration loses, then Tokido will fight, you know, a whole, there'll be a whole new set of players for him to fight. If Infiltration wins, he'll have a whole new set of, of players to fight on the next round of ESGN Fight Night. And let's not forget, Infiltration was the other guy besides Ryan Hart, who everybody was trying to avoid. Oh, yeah. There were hardly any Infiltration uh, faces on our wheel, <laughs> on our spinny <laughs> <Right>. wheel, <laughs> whatever we're choosing to call that right now. Uh, and so you gotta think, I mean, Infiltration could stop this here. Yeah. He, he could put an end to it, but with the way Takedo's looking right now, it's it's gonna be a tall order. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Takedo and Infiltration. I practice, um, I practice uh, at least eight hour per day uh, to play fighting games. Not only one game, but um, uh, we have a, a lot of fighting game, a lot of, yes, fighting game, so I practice a lot, every day. Fighting我就是在家裡面做 좀 익숙해지면 그때부터는 정말로 강한 사람들하고 많이 분, 열심히 싸우는 게 도움이 되지 무작정 연습하는 건 도움이 안 된다고 생각을 하고 그게 맞다고 여기고 있어서 음, 너무 감이 떨어지진 않게 하루에 한두 시간 정도 하는데 될수 있으면은 센 사람들을 많이 찾으려고 하죠 지금은 음, 그래서 한국에서 선수들과 연습하기는 좀 힘들지만 대회에서 연습한다고 생각하고 좀 다니고 있어요. Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition is a 1v1 cult fighting game developed by Capcom and Dimps. Choosing one of 39 characters, players fight to the finish until their health bars are completely drained. There are two possible ways to attack in Street Fighter, punches and kicks. Using these moves with your joystick at the same time activates abilities or combos that can deal significant damage. At the highest level of competitive play, Street Fighter's extremely quick pace not only requires top players to be fast with their hands, but also requires them to take out opponents with mind games. Those who outmaneuver and outthink their opponents will be the champion. So here's the rules for Fight Night Street Fighter. Eight world-class players are chosen at random by the heartless ESGN TV wheel. They are going to battle each other over seven brutal matches until we have the last man standing. But the stakes are high. Players can win from 500 right up to $25,000. And it looks like it's finally time to start this match. 
here at Fight Night Street Fighter Edition. Boys, are you ready? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Go shake hands and get ready. Let's start this match here with these two players in Tequito and Infiltration. Um, I don't know what to expect here, Gutex. I mean, well, there's going to be a lot it's of It's going to be a sick mirror matchup, Akuma v Akuma, but the two best Akumas in the world. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. These guys, you know, just to give a little bit of background. Tokido is basically credited with inventing the Akuma Vortex, which is a, you know, a technique, a series of tactics that he can use against almost any character to continue his offense after he gets a hard knockdown. And for those that don't know, a hard knockdown is, wh is what you get after a sweep or a forward throw where the opponent cannot quit get up. So against most characters in the cast, that allows him to continue his offense because the, the player that got knocked down is forced to, to guess whether to block left or right. In this situation, the vortex is basically useless because Akuma can just teleport out of it. So that means that Akuma has to beat Akuma fair and square without relying on the advantages that the vortex provides. Well, we've already started the match here. Akuma v Akuma. So... <sighs> And at this point in time, can we get confirmation here on which Akuma is on the left and which Akuma is actually on the right? We got infiltration over here on the left. All right, so. Akuma. Okay, just making sure. So, health bar up on the left is infiltration. Yeah. So, infiltration's off to a really good start here. He's he's gotten a nice life lead, but, um, oh wow, weird. Oh, they just kind of switched sides. That was pretty weird. Um, yeah, Akuma, infiltration's doing very well got a solid life lead now he's not going to take any unnecessary risk he's going to try to build some meter oh wow narrowly escapes that demon flip right there now don't forget that taquito had some problems against his opponents early on uh in like games one and two right when each of these matches oh, yeah. started but he's proved to be very adaptable so although infiltration's doing pretty well so far uh i want to see how he's doing uh you know the next few games from this one mm -hmm. yeah you remember that he, uh luffy last time had such a strong start against Tokido, but it really didn't matter because that was the only game that Luffy got. Um, All right. So first blood has been drawn here. Infiltration off to a pretty good start. That's right. Tokido in the dark red burgundy, blood red Akuma. <laughs> and Infiltration in the uh, snazzy, snazzy dark blue. The navy blue Akuma. Yeah. Okay, so it, it does appear that again, yeah, the infiltration not taking some damage or getting cornered, but hopping over now. Uh, yeah, you'll keto. Yeah, uh, screen positioning is so important in Street Fighter, and you'll notice that these players take every opportunity to get themselves out of the corner because when you're fighting with the back with your back to the wall, your options become extremely limited. And, and it looks like infiltration is yep, infiltration takes the first game pretty convincingly. Is Infiltration going to keep this going? Can he shut down uh, Takedo? Because, you know, as we said before, I mean, if if, uh, if Infiltration doesn't stop, no one Takedo Rampage, stop I, I don't We're know who comes in I hope, to stop I hope, this. I hope Takedo's 25 grand is not coming out of mine or your paycheck tasteless. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, we're going to have to step in. <laughs> <laughs> Infiltration. Infiltration is uh, from Korea. So I meet him all over the world. He's a very famous player then. Uh, he joined a lot of international tournaments. And uh, he used my character, Akuma. Yeah, so he's a very defensive player. And he, yes, uh, for me, it's very difficult to break his block. Yes. 역시 게임은 하지 않지만 멋있는 대회 뭐 저스틴이나 다이고나 토키도 선수 같은 유명한 선수들을 제가 어, 인터넷으로만 보다가 처음으로 만난 게 2010년에 이볼루션이었는데 거기서 처음 만나고 그 선수랑 저랑 똑같은 캐릭터를 사용하고 있, 있기 때문에 이제 정이 많이 갔어요. 그리고 그 선수하고 싸워서 
대부분 졌던 것 같아요. 아마 스틸 파이터는. 그래서 제가 좀 뛰어넘고 싶은 상대기도 하고 배울 점도 많고 항상 똑똑한 플레이를 하거든요. 그 선수가 어, 딱히 틈안 주고 자기 할 거는 딱 잘하는 그런 선수이기 때문에 저는 그런 게 부족하다고 생각이 들어서 음, 많이 배우고 싶고 그리고 Well, we're going to the next match here. We already have 1-0 here for um, infiltration, looking good. Good blocks right there. Again, that um, <clears throat> getting on the other side of them with that uh, mm -hmm. with, with the, the top hurricane, yeah, with the hurricane kick. kick. Uh -huh. Yeah, while you're uh, in midair, very strong. Yeah, and you'll notice that changes that you you change like the trajectory of your character as you do that yep. in midair, depending if you're doing it on the way down or on the way up, which can confuse your opponent on where you're going to land. That's right, and. Infiltration is doing a really good job of being very patient. Oh, wow, he's getting all those counter hits on wake up. So yeah, like now, Infiltration doesn't really have to take too many risks. You know, he's just gonna sit back, build some meter, throw some fireballs, even though he gets sweat. Wow, that was a, that was a good block. He knew that it was gonna hit on the other way. Held the other direction and managed to get out of trouble on that one. It's funny seeing you kind of an Akuma v Akuma, you know, how many uh, diagonal fireballs are getting mm -hmm. thrown down at different angles here to try to intercept the player as he's uh, right. coming in. Yeah, not just that, but they're also trying to build meter like that. And now Tokido's finally got some momentum oh. here. Wow, so, man, infiltration put so much work into that round, and Tokido just stole it from him. Okay, um, nice usage of the focus there to absorb that fireball. Yeah. And, and, and when, you, when you look at these two players, uh, how different do you say their Akuma styles are? Because this is a mirror matchup, and mirror matchups, especially when you have two characters with fireballs, it's kind of funky. Right. So I would say that Infiltration plays way more safe. Like, Infiltration will be very patient and kind of play a very conservative keep away game. Um, Tokido typically is playing much more aggressive because so you, you know, would view Tokido as this like rush down character like get it in your face uh, you know trying to I guess interrupt you or catch you off guard yeah, where it, right. you get someone like infiltration is, is yeah. more methodical about this yes. to be the more patient player. Right yeah because think about think about Tokido's match the other day against Ryan Hart right. Tokido was not standing around waiting for Ryan Hart to make a mistake. Tokido just basically held forward and capitalized on every single one of the opportunities that he could and basically put the pressure on Ryan Ooh. Hart to, to stop him, right? And then against Luffy, he did the same thing. Yeah, sure, Luffy got that first game, but Tokido just consistently pressed forward and intimidated his opponent. Um, infiltration kind of has this weird sort of different style where he's like offensive but he's not offensive but he's like not taking any risks but when he gets an opening he's really doing a lot of damage and that, there we go see that's the situation that I'm talking about where he gets the hard knockdown and typically Akuma would get you know a free vortex set up after that but because he can teleport um, he doesn't get that opening because he can just teleport well forward or backwards when is the appropriate moment to use your Ultra here in an Akuma v Akuma? So, the Ultra is interesting in this situation because he can cancel off of, he can cancel any normal into the Ultra. So, for example, um, you know, you can, oh, there we go. Oh, that would, here we go! Yeah. So Thank that would you be for a, answering my question yes, here. That would be a good time to do it. Like, you don't actually see it that often, uh, but it is a really good anti-air. But you don't actually see it that often because most players don't jump in at the angle where they would have enough time to to uh, to ultra. So, um, you know, the main ways to land it would be as anti-air. Another way would be to hit it off of a, a level two focus. You know, like for example, you could stand at a range where a, you can bait Akuma to do standing roundhouse, which is the two hit spin kick, right? And then stand and focus, focus crumple the second hit and then dash in ultra. Um, but you actually don't really see the Ultra that much in this match because usually the Akuma players know all the setups um, of 
all, all the raging demon setups. Yeah. Oh, and there we go. See, it's not even then. It's not always safe to teleport out because you yeah, can that, see that now. Trip right there. Yeah, exactly. Like Tokido knew both times that he was going to teleport and just held forward so that when he recovered from the teleport, he could sweep him still. And and uh, infiltration was not able to block in that situation. Wow. Okay. So we have Akuma now being bodied just there, but still. Um, or uh, infiltrations of Kuma, rather, are being bodied there. But it's still, uh, both these guys looking really strong. Uh, it is the two-win lead right now for infiltration, but these matches are actually quite close. Yeah, it, uh, even it, though... It's not like we're seeing uh, Kuma's perfect team. No, no, uh, no, no, The other no. one. It's, it's definitely not one-sided like the past few nights have been yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've definitely had more uh, one-sided nights so far here at uh, yeah, Fight Night. But, you know... It, it could end up with a 7-0, right? Even though the health, the health uh, for both players is pretty close when mm -hmm. the, when these matches are ending. Still, I mean, as far as uh, right in the history one. books, the, yes, there is no, there is no. Well, it was kind of close. There was no asterisk. Yeah. It's just this guy won and this dude lost, and now Tokido's. Oh wow! Oh, stays man. in the stays in the air for just an extra split second with that ex air fireball. Okay, it's he, Tokido could totally steal this round. Oh, Ooh, nicely done with yeah. that slower fireball. He jumps in the air, on laying the ground. The trip comes in, he takes him out. Mm -hmm. So now the score is two to one. Tokido's on the board. So Infiltration is gonna think about it, take a breath, try to regroup, make some adjustments, Yo, Mike, change out some parts. Mike, over there on the couch, what, what is everybody feeling about this so far? Do you guys think that the, uh, you know, Infiltration's doing well enough to take Takedo out, or is Takedo starting to catch on here with that next win, with that last win? Yeah, and Sin, just moving forward? Sin, tell me what you think. You've been observing this matchup. You know a lot about Akuma. You used to play Akuma yourself. What do you think? I think that's the best counter. And I think Chem has a better... Well, you know, the whole fighting game community has always been struggling what counters Akuma. Now I feel like we found an answer. You also pick Akuma. <laughs> so I think overall, I think we're all learning from this. So if you struggle fighting Akuma, guys, pick Akuma also. The like matchup that. will at least be even. <laughs> It'll never be in his favor. <laughs> Yeah, it makes sense. There you go. Right, you know, back to you guys. Wise, wise words from Filipino champ yeah. right now. I think we're all going back to the drawing board and switching to Akuma. <laughs> and next, next we'll ESGN. You be an Akuma fighter for yeah. <laughs> which exactly. color Akuma will you yeah. play? You're like, oh, well, I want the red one. No, I want the red one. <laughs> Ooh, nice counter hit setups right there. Damn. Yeah, Tokido is... You can, when you can link together solid Akuma combos and, and, and get the setups right so that you can start that, the damage output is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could... Okay. Oh, Damn. Wow, I'm not quite sure what he went for right there. Oh, no, didn't read the teleport properly. Infiltration getting low here. Oh, Tokido is evening this out. Two to two. I think we're gonna see. I think this is going on the last game. You These know those guys like sci-fi horror movies where like the, the computer like starts to learn like what the humans are doing and it starts to overcome. I think that's what Takedo is. Where I'm sitting here, I'm like, it's learning. Yeah. <laughs> it's becoming more powerful than us. <laughs> Tokido is that machine. Tokido is Skynet. Yeah, he he is definitely learning more with every single round played. Mm. Well, these guys are clearly the two best Akuma players in the world. So, I'm... Uh, whoever... <laughs> whoever wins, I predict that they're going to win the next round. Of, they're going to win the 25 grand. Yeah, you know, I think that's a yeah. good call. This, we'll predict this right now. Whoever yeah. wins between these two is probably going to be the first to get to that 25 grand. Yeah. You know? Because who, who could beat these guys? Mike. Honestly, man, I don't know. I mean, Mike, who, who, who beat who these you, guys? Who do you think? Uh, who do you think can beat these guys? Well, there was an exhibition not too long ago between Infiltration and Daigo. I think we clearly saw who the victor was in that set. First mm -hmm. to ten, Daigo won ten to one, ten to two. What do you think? What do you, what do you um, think, other Filipino champ? Oh. So if if the next one, if they had Daigo Omehara, Daigo would beat both of these guys. 
with ease. So I don't think they're gonna win a 25k. They have to get lucky all the way until they fight Daigo last so they could opt out and at least make 10k, you know? Oh. Mm, damn. Smart yeah, stuff. Daigo. Yeah, that's true. All right, again, uh, moving up now, it's three to two. Infiltration's back. The balance of, 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 of power here is again tipping mm -hmm. back into Both uh, these Chiquito's guys. favor. Learning machines. But again, the matches have been closer than uh, some of these other matches we've seen here. <laughs> yes. Especially the last uh, two fight nights or uh, matches we had. Yeah, we yeah, you know, with, with nights <laughs> with matches those with that that short, we just you know. Oh, infiltration went out, went out for beers afterwards. Well, then now that I say that, infiltration is actually doing a lot of damage here at the start of this uh, this next round. Ooh, good read right there. Oh. Infiltration, making sure he gets that respect from Takedo right now. Oh, beautiful mm -hmm. with that uppercut. Just does enough damage, even if you're blocking, oh, yeah. to just take him out. Oh, yeah. Good use of meter right there. Ends the first round pretty convincingly. Now, if Infiltration wins this, it, it does even back out. No, it, if Tokido wins this, it'll be even. Oh, yeah. excuse me, Infiltration's up one, yeah. sorry. Tokido, I, I, I mean, uh, Infiltration, I think, has decided that he has to go on the offensive and kill. Oh, that's okay. Oh, oh that's been a dizzy, heartbreaking dizzy. right in there, mixing that combo together. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, see, at the beginning, Infiltration was kind of like, oh, you know, play it a little bit more conservatively, but now I think it's like, kill or be killed. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so far, uh, even start here. Uh-oh. Nice, jumping over him like that. Whoa, walks right into that standing roundhouse. Oh no, Tokido uncharacteristically drops that combo. Oh man. Okay, he'll be. Oh wow, oh, he still wow. Got hit. Oh man, I think he did the demon because I think he thought he was going to like it was going to push him forward and out of the way of yeah, that cross of Tatsu. Uh, so now it's all tied up, three to three. Man, these matches we're going to be out of here quite early, Tasis. 3-3, three, three, man. Uh, these guys are very evenly matched. Are we going to go to the last possible game? Could we Could we have it 6-6? Six, six? I think we actually I, could. I think this is, going, this is going to the last game, last round. Oh, the good thing when you have an Akuma versus Akuma is Akuma is so fast, you know, with walking on the ground and mm -hmm. stuff. The footsies get yeah, pretty intense. Yeah, exactly. Intense. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Like, the footsie game is actually a little bit harder because both of these guys are, you know, their walk speeds are so much faster than most of the other characters. So, but I think, I, I would say actually that I think Tokido actually has slightly stronger footsies than Infiltration. But Infiltration, man, he's just, you know, he's last year's world champion. But, you know, Tokido got second this year at Evo. And these guys are both, you know, masters of Akuma. Oh, oh yeah, nice yeah. connection he here, and he might just have yeah, to chip him out gonna, here. He thought he was going to cross him up, but he, but he just, he hit him in front. And he can actually stay back all day if he wants and just you know, use fireballs. Yeah, there. any of that connects. There's not much that he was going to be able to do. And Raging's in trouble. Yeah, and we still haven't seen too many raging demons, you know, because yeah, that's true. They both, they both know all of the setups. <laughs> All right, we got, um, what is that, is Ooh. that uh, right. hmm. Takedo in the corner here? Yeah, Takedo's in the corner. Oh man, that's a tough, it's still a good trade because you still regain, you still maintain your positioning. But it's like, oh man, you just wish that Akuma's uppercut was just a little bit better. Not He's gonna keep here pressured Tokido. over here on the wall. Oh! Yeah, see, that's Nicely what I was talking done. about earlier, yeah, where you can cancel. Sweep. Yeah, you can cancel any of Akuma's normals into his Raging Demon. But now, hey, Infiltration's still extremely dangerous. He's got four bars and his Ultra still. So, I mean, he could do a lot of chip damage. He could do his EX Demon Flip, um, which tracks. Oh, there nice. we go. Yeah, so that Fireball FADC to bait him into neutral jumping. Wow, so he burned all his bar 
in that situation, but it was totally worth it because he got it. He, you know, he stayed alive and he got the yeah, win. Yeah. But, but now, it's in a tough spot. Three bars now over here. Right. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> for Taquito, so he's got a lot more room uh, to work with different. Uh, you know. Yeah, he's got a lot more resources. A lot more. Yeah, know? a lot more stuff you can throw at his mm -hmm. opponent if he economizes that uh, uh, EX bar properly. Exactly. Oh, Ooh, actually, yeah, doing a... the focus and then connecting that, and that's going to be a big combo. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I think now Tokido has decided that it's not really worth it for him to uh, to end his combos with the sweep, at least in that situation, because um, he knows that the hard knockdown doesn't even really do anything for him in this situation because he gets because he can just teleport out of trouble. So you might as well go for more damage. This is getting pretty close here. We have infiltration very low on uh, on health right now, uh, and it looks like Taquito might just try to stay out for a little bit, throw a few fireballs, see if he can't have one of yeah. his stray fireballs just hit him. Yeah, exactly. You know, he doesn't. He's in a situation now where he has such a big life lead. You know, uh, infiltration doesn't have a lot of bar to work with. So, oh, oh, oh my God, God is he going to connect this? Whoa! Oh, no. Hmm. I wonder if he jumped back on purpose or if that was a that kind of an accident. Crazy little ending there, jumping back oh, and landing man. on that fireball. Yeah. Four to three now. Tokido's taking the lead by one game. This is definitely coming down to the last game. Yeah, I think you're right. I like that these guys are just going ham. They're like you know, no, no running away, no air, no million air fireball battles, just walking forward and going in. This is intense, man. Oh, that was a good Again, trade right I, there. I love some of the fireball setups we got going in here. Mm -hmm. Like even when they're waking up for the fireballs, or the more complex stuff where they're dropping mm -hmm. fireballs down to then force them to block or at least be uh, you know absorb uh, some damage, and then they can combo into all sorts of other attacks there. <laughs> oh wow! wow. Nice. Yeah, did you see what he did right there is he, you know, he stuck out his low medium punch, forced him to block, and waited a split second and then uppercut it. Uppercut it. But even if he would have blocked, he would have been safe because he had the two meters to burn on a, on an FADC. Smart stuff by infiltration. Whoa! And, oh, once again, okay, he's not going to land that. He actually focused through that. Yeah. Tokido is just, oh yeah, it's kill or be killed here. This at you know the end of this first run of ESGN Fight Night. Well, it looks like we got Tokido absorbing a few more fireballs. He's gonna have to wait for that to recharge uh, his health refill. If he takes any more damage, he's gonna get stuck. Okay, oh, he's gonna, gonna connect hurt. this combo here. Infiltration might be in some trouble Whoa. here. Oh, he got out of it though. Yeah, slipped out. Oh no, he's got to be more conscious with those demon flips. It's definitely costing him. Tokido has got a really sizable lead, doesn't have to take a lot of risks. Yeah, from here, Tokido just needs to say it, play it safe. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Oh, nice! Yes. Oh, wow. And he got the dizzy. Nasty. I didn't even realize he was so close to dizzy. So, huh. Well, yeah, you see, now infiltration is starting to change up where he's putting him, he's making him, making him block an attack and then waiting a split second and uppercutting to uh, to try to catch him on his counter hit. It's 4-4 so right four, four. now. Still anybody's game this match so close. Yeah, now uh, infiltration, trying to capitalize on this momentum. Oh man, playing a little bit faster, a little bit more reckless. There we go. These guys are just taking it to each other. This is take no prisoners tasteless. These guys are trying to go home with that 25 grand. Yeah. <laughs> nice throw there in the corner. Oh, Ooh. actually now getting back out of the corner too. Yeah. You know, that's that really shows the importance of screen positioning here because he didn't go for an attack. He just used the opportunity to demon flip out of the corner to regain the position and put uh, infiltration back in the corner. Okay, to Taquito pretty low here. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Funny ending it? to that. Yeah. 
So yeah, interesting, interesting turn of events right there. Caused him to whiff the uppercut, or I actually hit him in the back of the head with that cross up Tatsu. Smart stuff. Infiltration's got a little bit of momentum going for him. He's definitely studied oh, nice Tokido since there. the last time that these guys played. Yeah. Well, it makes sense, you know, with the amount of money that's mm -hmm. on the line here. Oh, yeah. If you this just is... play a few good games, yeah. uh, you can win. You can Serious win big. Business. <laughs> Backing out of there. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, trading uppercuts. Yep. Oh, oh this is going to yeah, be he... bad here. He's very low. He can't afford to get much more uh, behind than this right now. You can see yeah, infiltration. He's like debating about yeah, edging exactly. in, and then he, exactly. Yeah, exactly. He backs out. Yeah, because you don't want to risk it. Because, okay, so he's a, he's up one game and one round, so he doesn't want to take any unnecessary risks, such as getting a little too close. And here's what's funny too: is they're both low enough on the EX bar that if they go to the third round, it would be quite even too. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> both them uh, trying to swipe there with their feet. Oh, looks like there was maybe an attempt oh, there for a throw. So oh my gosh, this could be oh! it. That is a heartbreaker. If Infiltration would have won that round, that could have been the turning point for the entire match. Yeah. But Tokido says, no, you don't. And now there's still even four to four, one round apiece, even on meter. Oh my gosh. And, let, and let's say he gets. loses the entire series because of that. That's going to be He's haunting still, him. Yes. He could have been 25K right. richer. Exactly. We're going to, you know, we've seen this weekend. I mean, we've seen all week, you know, really close rounds come down and then the player just loses it mentally and it takes them like another round and a half to recover. Okay, uh, right now Takedo in the corner. Um, Akuma doing a really good job with the way he's just controlling this game so far. Uppercut there. Ooh, oh wow! Tokido's going a little. He was going a little too hard right there. Tokido might just steal this one away. Oh man, going a little too hard right there. Nice block on the overhead. This is anybody's game right here. Oh, oh EX, EX through that. Cut through it. Oh my gosh. This could go. Oh my oh gosh. My He'd God. been saving that. Yeah, because that's we the first seen him time. Use that in a, I, I, that's the first time that he's used it, used it in, in the. Yeah, uh, in this, the set. exactly. Yeah. So that that's the thing really about well that done. EX Demon Flip, right? The, you know, regular Demon Flip, you know, you can, you can follow it up with a throw, but it's just not that fast, and you already have to train them to be blocking. But the EX Demon Flip can basically track them from full screen. So he waited, he waited nine games. To yeah, throw that out. bringing that out. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, Tokido, though, you know, look at his face, man. This guy is not phased. Infiltration, man. Oh, man. Infiltration doing really well, especially yeah. at the oh, start yeah. of this game here. He's not even been damaged yet. Yeah, doing a really good job of backing away, resetting the situation, not trying to go in too hard or press his advantage too much because he knows, hey, he's in the lead and Tokido's got to come to him. This... So intense, man, these fights right yeah. here. Tokido, I think Tokido's still thinking about that last game. Oh, he's Tokido now coming it. through there and he's getting oh. the Raging Demon off. Nice, this is going to hurt. Still going to be alive, though. Yep. But that is a ton that, yeah, of damage. That closes the gap quite a bit, though, doesn't it? Both players now they're both totally looking for sure. the extended yep. flip. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh no, misses no. that overhead. That was an exp oh. okay. infiltration. Unexpected turn He's of events right there. Down, yeah, yeah. A few now little jabs in there. Now to Tokido's going to start the second round with almost a full bar. He definitely has a huge advantage going into this, but... Ooh. But Infiltration's only winning by one game. Infiltri uh, Tokido could tie it up right here. Tokido so far looking pretty good here, but that oh, he was uh, EX that, Fireballs. That EX he hits fireball, him. Yep. Yep. Oh, my. Oh, Whoa! Wow, Whoa. gets the juggle after that air fireball. Nice read. 
continuing to back up now. Wow, you know, uh, getting range held very close now too. I, I really like that use of EX uppercut to go through those fireballs. Yeah, that's really smart, yeah. especially when they do the double fireball. Mm -hmm. Now Tokido's one hit away. Oh! oh! Infiltration steals it with the surprise cross of Tatsu. Oh man, last round of this game. This this is this is the turning point. Yeah, this is this yeah. is really important because we're in four five right now. Yeah, if Infiltration wins this, I think it's over. Wow. Yeah. Because that I'm not is just so much. Out just yet, just because I've seen what he's done so far. But man, if Tokido wins this, he will tie up the he'll tie it up five five. But man, that's a lot to come back from mentally for anybody. Infiltration, out of, oh man, he's getting a lot of mileage after that, out of that cross oh, top yeah. These guys are just, they're basically taking each other's tactics now. Yeah, using it against each other. Yep. Oh, uh, he tried to- getting lower, Tokido yeah. getting very low now. Tokido tried to run up Car Demon. Oh, good blocks right there. Now, oh, oh that was Oh my sick. god, and he just had- Just walk up had throw, four, four bars, four and bars, ultra, and was just not walk up throw. Even, yeah. That was sick. That was gutsy, that was man. Sick. The balls on this guy. It's something else. So it's 4 6. Takedo is so close to losing everything he worked so hard to maintain oh here. Oh my gosh. You know, it's, that road to that 25 It's been a long week, man. May end here. He's got his back to the wall. It's do or die now. If, if Infiltration wins this game, then he'll go on to fight a set of seven new players next time on fight night. Or, if Tokido wins, he'll go on to fight a brand new set of players, but he's only got to win three more yeah. in order to win that 25 grand. So, so if I'm Tokido in this position, I, I will do everything in my power to not yeah. get forced into having to walk this road again. Right. You've already gotten this far in fight night, man. You mm -hmm. may never get this far again. Depending yeah, on, exactly. You know, the... uh oh, is that going to hit? Oh, yeah. All right. It does. He was a little careless on that jump in. Hey, Tokido is starting to. For it. This game is starting to slip away from Tokido's oh, fingertips. Oh! oh my gosh. That was such a sneaky non cross of. That was so sneaky. All right, well, this is it. Match point infiltration. He's up three games in a row. Could this be the first time that infiltration defeats Tokido in a, in a tournament, you know, in a high stakes match? It absolutely could be good, Tex. We have, again, more fireballs being exchanged here. Tokido just not allowed to make any more mistakes here. He's got his it's back crunch to the wall. time here. The, both oh, of these nice. guys, no stranger to high pressure situations, but oh man, this is this is out of control. We got a full bar here for EX uh, for Takedo. Let's see how he tries to utilize that. Oh no. He might actually save that for the next round here since Oh, oh it looks like Tokido's gonna take this round. Oh. Oh wow, he actually got out of that. Oh, Swept, try to go for that sweep a little too close there. Now they're, now they're both, now they're both about three even. Three and a half yeah, bars, Almost roughly. four bars, almost yeah. Almost four. It's Last even round. Fight here. If it's still match got, point. Yep, it's still match point. If Takedo's got anything, he's got to bring it to the table now. All the, the rest of the tricks he's got with Akuma. Oh, this could be it. Oh my god, oh my god. Takedo's get, in the corner, oh getting lower. He has health now. He had Raging the demon, demon to get out of the corner. Out. Whoa! Whoa. How the, oh man, I haven't... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot you can EX Fireball after the EX Demon Flip. You don't. You actually don't really see that. That's very that's a rare uh, yeah. tool to use here. Yeah. Oh, oh that's it! it. Oh the my God. God! Infiltration takes it. Seven to four. Oh man, all of that work. Infiltration. Oh. Wow. Ending Taquito's chances of getting that 25 grand. Hey guys, I'm joined with Tokido. Damn, what a series, man. It was really close, even getting up to 4 4 and 10 wins apiece for rounds. What was going through your mind, man, as you were in the middle of the series? Mm, yes, at mm, 4 4, it's okay for me. But next match, I didn't do well. Yeah, what happened, Tokido? Um, because, uh, yeah, he has a strong mentality. Um, sometimes he can do 
attack, 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 and、uh, usually he k e e p safe, but sometimes attack, attack, attack. Maybe it's a、uh, 4-4, after 4-4, he、um, did attack, so I cannot adapt myself against his change. So it was the play style that switched up on you and you weren't prepared for it? Yes, he can switch,、mm-hmm. but、uh, I didn't adapt myself. Well, you know, Tokido, historically you've been favored against infiltration in your record because you've been beating him a lot, but this time he beat you. But I have a feeling that this isn't the last time you guys will meet. How confident are you going to be going into the next time you face him? Yes, I, yes, I will watch this match. Then I fix my wrong. So next time I will beat him. That's why you're one of the best of Q. You study matches and go back. Well, you did win yourself 500 as well as the 50 for the call out bonus at the beginning of your run, so congratulations. Before we let you go, do you have any last words and comments? Oh, thank you for Team Matcats and all ESG on TV and watching people. Thank you. Thank you very much, man, and good luck in the future. What's up, guys? It's Gutex, and I am back with Infiltration. Congratulations on your amazing win against Tokido. I know that you guys have fought a lot before, and I wanted to ask you what sort of adjustments you made to your game to finally beat Tokido. I don't know who is going to beat Tokido, but I don't know who is going to beat Tokido. I don't know who is going to beat Tokido. 지금 게임을 마지막으로 해서 그런가 어, 굉장히 게임에 굶주려 있고 하고 싶은데 또 강한 선수가 기다리고 있으니까 이렇게 즐거워서 많이 심, 가, 이제 심적으로 위축되지가 않아서 그게 이길 수 있는 힘이 되지 않았나 싶습니다. You know, this week here uh, in Germany for ESGN Fight Night, you basically let the 2013 Street Fighter 4 champion Sien beat two of the guys, and then Tokido, who finished second place this year, beat three of the guys. And then you kind of just came in at the end and beat Tokido. Now, do you think that if you would have been the first guy to play, you know, it, if you would have played the first time, would the results have been different? I've been preparing for many things, but I've been able to play a few characters in the last time. I've been preparing for many things, but I've been able to play a few characters. 토너먼트도 좋지만 많은 사람들에게 재미있는 엔터테인먼트를 위해서 만들었다고 알고 있기 때문에 그에 부응하고자 많은 캐릭터를 보여주고 싶어서 여러 가지 연습해 왔는데 그래서 좀 많은 캐릭터를 막 쓰다가 중간에 탈락하지 않았을까 싶기도 해요. 막 그냥 처음부터 쭉 잘하는 게 아니라 그래서 오히려 다행이라고 생각합니다. 행운이었습니다. Very smart. Okay, so now finally since You're basically the last man standing here. We're going to bring you back next time for ESGN Fight Night. Now, we're going to have a whole new set of seven new players. Is there anyone in particular that you want to see here next time that you, that you would like to challenge you? I want to meet a lot of people. 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 제 팬이 제가 팬이기도 하고 어, 좋아하는 선수면서 싸우는 재밌으니까 자, 만나고 싶습니다. All right, well, you guys heard it here first. Daigo, if you're watching this, Infiltration will be waiting for you here in Germany next time on ESGN Fight Night. Infiltration, congratulations! I think we're gonna have you go over there and spin the wheel. I don't know why. I think I just see a bunch of Infiltration faces on it, but I guess that's what we're gonna do. Well, congratulations, Infiltration. This is the beginning of a new run, potentially, as we have an important decision to make. Sandra, please come up here as we present the two choices for Infiltration. So, what's it going to be? Are you going to take the money and walk away? Or are you going to come back next time for new challengers and a chance to win $25,000? Okay, I want to fight. He's going to fight. He's going to try to go for the money. Well, that wraps up another edition of Fight Night. Tasteless, thanks for stopping by. I hope you had a lot of fun. Dude, I had a lot of fun. It's so nice to be casting some Street Fighter 4. Oh, dude, it was really fun having you and Gutex. What were some of your favorite moments, man?、Uh, I think for me, I was most excited to see Takedo's rise to power 
And then to see at the very end there, infiltration, you know, shut it down. Yeah, lots of upsets, surprising results, but ultimately, who can be surprised with infiltration taking a win as one of the strongest players in the world? Absolutely, and we're going to see pretty soon here if infiltration can be stopped or if he'll be the first to get that $25,000. That's right, there's going to be new challengers, but we're done here. So from everyone from ESGN TV, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.